Mona Tukata Iaya means move forward now. My name is Dave Arshambo and I'm running for the next Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Chairman. It's time that we start looking into the future and trying to find out how we can make this a better place for our children. Whenever my father-in-law was alive, John, he would put a garden in every day, every every year, every summer, and he'd be out here. And he would be um, tilling it, or he'd be weeding it, and uh, it's something that he relaxed him. And we, nobody ever really helped him. Nobody ever tried to come out and see how it was done or anything. And every now and then, I would come out, and he would put in his plants with a with the post hole digger and a string. He had to make sure everything was straight. Uh, we, and even like the onions, when you put onions in, they had to be right underneath that string. Or uh, when you put the tomatoes or the pe uh, pepper plants or any plants, he had, you had to step them off. And you'd take five or six steps and uh, then you'd make it so everything was in a straight line. I don't know, he was real meticulous about that. And he, and he always tried to uh, keep it clean so there was no weeds and he'd water it. He turned the water on during the day. All day he would let it run. And then in the evenings he'd call us and he'd say, uh, it'd be late too. And he'd just, hey, turn that water off. So we'd have to get up and go outside and make sure the water's off. And he would turn it off, we'd turn it off at night so he could uh, come the next day and move it to a different spot. And then he would water it all day. But it was really good whenever uh, it was time to harvest the, the vegetables when they've got big enough to where you can have uh, fresh tomatoes or fresh cucumbers and fresh potatoes, fried potatoes. He'd, he'd take green beans, like have green beans. He'd get, he'd get green beans and he would, um, he would uh, get some side pork and, and fresh potatoes. And then he would boil them and he'd make really good soup. And he would spend a lot of time giving a lot of his vegetables out to um, all the older older folks that and were less fortunate and stuff, he'd always let's go take some around because we all, he always grew more than mm -hmm. enough uh, vegetables. Then when he passed away, it was um it was up to us to keep it going. And I remember my daughter was saying that um, she, it was a sad time and she wanted to she wanted to plant a garden every year and she made it made it to a point that. That's something that we have to keep going. She don't ever help or nothing now, but <laughs> that was something that she wanted to, to keep going and keep and remember the things that he showed us. So the way he put it in is kind of the same same thing that we do. And I tried different things and it never seemed to work out the same until I, I started going with him, the same doing the same thing, rotating. Put the pa potatoes on this side, put the tomatoes on that side, or put the melons over there. We rotate it. Um, and then we always till the garden just so the weeds don't get carried away. And it, it seems like the weeds that grow here are creeping jennies and stickers. Those are the, and if they get out of control, it just suffocates the garden. And it's something that we like doing and it, um, it relieves stress. And then it's, uh, if you want to live right, if you want to live healthy, you grow your own food, grow your own vegetables. And it seemed like that's how it was done. When we were demobilized, everybody was given land. Our ancestors were given land and uh, a house, uh, a cow, a sheep, a pig, and they had a little lot that they would, and they were self-sustaining. Even though we weren't nomadic anymore, they still had their culture and they still had their their own food. They grew and they still got along with each other and uh, had their social uh, events, the powwows, our gatherings, and uh, but they were self-sustaining. And it wasn't until we um, had World War One where our men went away. When our men, when our men left, they were our veterans, our, our warriors, they, 
20 years before that, 20, 30 years before that, those same men were fighting the U.S. government, the cavalry. And 20 years um, later, they're they're going to war with the same same company. But they learned the concept of money, and they learned the concept of alcohol. And then, same time, the federal government introduced um, uh, introduced subsidy, so farm like a farm bill. If you grow, if you take your land and you just grow one thing, wheat, uh, you'll get paid for growing that. And so money, uh, what became more important than taking care of yourself, being self-sustaining. So I think if, if there's ever a time, like all the things that we learn, all the things that are brought in front of us, and, and we got to practice them because there could be a time when we won't have anything left. And, we got to take care of ourselves. The money won't meet, won't matter anymore. I want to thank each and every one of you for the support that you've given me. If you want to learn more about me, go to my website, drshambo.com.